Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to CCXRC. In this video, we're taking a look at this awesome rally car from Sen Racing that's sitting here on the bench in front of me. This thing is stunning looking. It's a 1-8 scale brushless, ready to run vehicle. The M Sport Puma Rally 1. Fully licensed, Red Bull stickers, all of that on here guys. Driver and uh, navigator names and all of that. And there's another set in here if you want to change it out based on the actual real drivers of this car. I'm so pumped to get out and run this thing. But first, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys to show you all of it. I mean, this body is insane. It is insane. So many stickers on here. Um, it's like almost to me alike in the amount of stickers, except you don't have to put them on. Let's check it out. All right, guys, here it is. We're going to do an unboxing for you. The M Sport Puma Rally 1 from Sen Racing. This thing looks fantastic. I'll tell you what. Uh, Four-wheel drive, ready-to-run brushless system in here. And, uh, I mean, they've gone and licensed it. Looks super cool. It's got the Red Bull logoing and all the cool details here, the Ford. Um, but, yeah, spinning around here. You can see on the bottom here of the box, which is now upside down, They'll list all of the different specs here if you want to try and pause this and uh, see. But officially licensed 2023 M Sport. Um, they've got the 3 millimeter aluminum chassis on this thing. Um, injection molded rear diffusers, front skid plates, all kinds of stuff here, guys. Uh, Four-wheel drive, like I said, center drive shaft. Uh, 12 millimeter oversized shock bodies, 3 millimeter hardened steel shafts on those. So really, really cool. They're shown here, 2S for novice, can do 3S. Uh, talks about the radio system, all of that. And then here, it's kind of just showing those actual components. Hobbywing 100 amp um, ESC, Mod 1 gears, running the, the basic radio we've seen with their other cars in the past, um, which has lots of features. And um, it's just a digital controller, um, digital buttons instead of having knobs and stuff. So we'll look at that, um, but yeah. It is a 3000 kV brushless system, full metal diffs. Let's get in here and show you guys this wicked cool car. I've already opened this, I'll be honest. I've, I've seen it in person. I couldn't just wait and not take a look. Pull this right on out. Oh my goodness. Oh, the pink on this. So, so many stickers. All right, here we go. Let's get in and do the peel off. Oh, we're not getting a good start. This looks fantastic. Oh, my goodness. In the lighting, I didn't look at it in this lighting in here. Wow, is that pretty. So many colors. This thing just pops. And the molding on the front end here is really rad. These are actually injection molded little mirrors. Little diffusers here on the side as well. Rear diffusers, a molded plastic piece. Wow, really tight the body is on this back tire. So we'll see if that catches and stuff because that is really, really, really close when the suspension is down to that back tire there. Um, very, very close. But other than that, I mean, <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, man. So this is different for Sen. This is a whole different kind of look and type of car uh, based on what they've had recently. You know, they used to have some of the big bashers. Um, but yeah, I really do see how close that is there. I might even just trim it before I go out a little bit just to get it off of there. I guess we'll see just so people would know what's going on. Uh, but I'll definitely have scissors with me when I go out because that looks really, really close. Could be problematic. Stickered windows on here. We'll show you the body a little bit closer in detail here. The top of it with the Red Bull logo. All kinds of stuff. The names on here. The 
back in. But again, all the stickers, you can see from the inside where the molded pieces mount in. But just a, a really good, good looking body. All right, underneath that is this tub chassis. So big, thick metal drive shaft right down the center of it. Um, it is a dog bone style, but it's nice and tight. Not a lot of slip there. Should not have any issues with that coming off. Drive into your spur gear here and then transferring forward to your diff forward and your rear diff. The shocks on here feel pretty good. Metal risers here for your your shock towers front and rear. Those are nice thick pieces as well. Uh, adjustable turnbuckles on the top. And it looks like there's some adjustability options for your shocks for sure on those shock towers, but also down low. So you can set the angle, which is really great for rally. Uh, interesting pin here that goes between these. It's, um, I don't know if other people do this, but it looks like Instead of having single pins, it's a it's like a U shape. So that's interesting. Pretty cool. The same thing up front, and here you can see it tucked in there. A little bar that goes across, and that runs your pins down through. Uh, they're saying that it has some kind of new front end stuff here with their arms in order to get that low clearance. You can see the shape of them, angling and everything. Looks good, nice metal chassis running down the middle with uh, the logo kind of in here, M Sport and Sen Racing side by side. Very nice touch to that. Everything's sunken very nicely and it's running the, um, the Hex hardware. So tires feel good. Definitely an on-road tire that it comes with. You know, with these rally cars, you see them both on-road and off-road. Um, and they're going super fast. One of the things to point out, really wide body post option mount right here, which is nice, um, so that it'll help keep the body stiff. Some people are just not gonna love body mounts in general. I love how quick and easy um, they are in keeping things in. But yeah, they're, they're tucked very low and tight in here, and with all the graphics, they just kind of disappear. So not the worst thing, I've seen worse when you're dealing with uh, body posts. I feel like the the wide mounting points of them and just how tight they are, you're gonna get the clips and that's gonna make it show a little more, but um, I don't feel like it detracts too bad from how wicked good this body looks. It's so good. Really high walls here. I'm hoping that it doesn't keep dirt in as much as it keeps it out. So that's one of the things that I'm hoping I know where I plan to run this is gonna be in some sand, uh, kind of like a sand uh, trail. Kind of looks a lot like it'd be just a, a rally trail um, where it's kind of dirt or when they, they're in like Africa and stuff. So that's kind of what I was thinking I was gonna run with this. The tires aren't for that, but I'm hoping it'll give it that rally look. But anyway, guys, I'm really digging this thing. Up here, guys, is that 100 amp ESC right here. Uh, 3000 KV BL3658 motor with a fan on it, heat sink, and then it has um, the Savox servo under here, uh, rebranded for this vehicle, guys, for Sen. Um, but they're working with some top notch companies for their parts, and uh, it's, it's mentioned on the box, so I just wanted to point it out. Uh, it does show uh, Savox and Hobby Wing name. Um, letting you know that who their electronics are being made by. Velcro strap here for the battery. Gives you lots of room to tie this down and keep it secure front to back, side to side. And um, nice foam bumper up front. And adjustable easily here for your front shock tower with these body posts. Rear one, um, you have to use a, looks like a two millimeter. But again, hex hardware everywhere. Uh, everything seems to be pretty easy to get at and ac accessible here. It does have openings in the back, so if you do get some dirt and stuff in here, um, it hopefully we'll be able to find its way out. Um, but we'll see how this big tub chassis does with that. It also looks like it would be pretty easy to get a cover over this once you get everything in um, and be able to put a, a screen or something on it to keep debris out of it. But 
Yeah, really, really wicked good, guys. Now let's go on to the other stuff. We did this unboxing different than normal. Normally I show the other stuff first. Um, that may not be as interesting. And uh, this time we're doing it second. So, then we'll get out there and we'll run this for you guys. So here's their Amp 30 radio. You've got your uh, steering trims left and right here, your throttle uh, up and down here, power, you got channel three and a function button, and a dual rate toggle up here for your steering. You definitely wanna know that that's there, that's gonna be key. Nice rubberized grip on it. You can one-handed drive it, that'll be nice. I, um, the shape of this being so narrow and kind of cupped weird, does make it normally, I'll, I'll try and shift my hand on it to one-handed drive, but it makes it kind of want to slip. So you kind of got to use it in the the way that it feels like straight. It's great for just straight hold, but if you're trying to just kick your hand a little around, it doesn't want to stay, which I don't find with other ones that are more rounded. This is a very narrow grip. Not the end of the world, but I like that it's still one-handed drivable uh, for me and for my purposes. That's just one thing that I point out. It's not something that most people care about, I'll be honest. Uh, but if you do YouTube or you do a lot of videos and you like filming your car, it is one thing. So it looks like if you want to change your driver from uh, and your, uh, what are the navigation guys' names here, you can switch. They've got another sticker piece here and you can change the top number too. So that's pretty cool that they give that knowing that you may have a specific driver of this car that you like. Uh, it does come with an ESC programming card and it tells you where it comes stock in the programming. So we'll quickly look at that and see if we want to make any changes. Forward brake reverse is how it comes set up. And then it is auto uh, low voltage cutoff. It'll auto calculate your LiPo size, that's good. BEC can be turned up to 7.4 volts. You have a, a different servo that you want to use. Uh, max reverse force 50%, max brake is 75. That'll probably be pretty good. And drag brake is set to zero. So start mode punch is level three. It can go up to five. So if you want more punch, where I'm going to be running those settings seem actually pretty good. Here you got a couple of servo horn options. If you change it out, the serial number you want to keep that. But um, some tools if you need to work on it. And again. If you want to change out your servo, there's different horns here that'll fit. Uh, they are plastic. And then you have your manual here and one for the body set for it. But go through it real quick to show some of the, the details. That's for your radio, kind of parts explosions, renderings, and the like. So um, very simple beginning first run stuff on here and then it goes into the more detailed directions about what you still need, requirements, what uh, oils and stuff you need if you want to add different things um, for maintenance. But yeah, that's it guys. Now it's time to go and give this thing its first run.
right, guys, quick wrap up here at the end of uh, our shoot. Definitely not the terrain for it. As you can see, we tore the body up pretty good. Uh, it also is locking up the steering, kind of like my HPI used to do. If you get anywhere near rocks, if there's rocks on your street or whatever, maybe same thing even. Um, pebbles and stuff getting stuck in there. So you want a fairly clean area. Uh, I already dumped a bunch of stuff out of here, but I was collecting for sure rocks and all kinds of stuff in here and jamming up in the steering up here. So I, I haven't been able to turn right. Now it's turning right again, but it kept jamming up. I kept losing my right-handed steer out here. So uh, we got a, a video we were trying to go for, uh, for a look, but I actually would not recommend driving in anything that I just showed it in, except for on the cement. Uh, maybe packed, hard packed dirt. Grass, even it struggles, it's high centering, we'd lose traction, have to go and kick it. But yeah, the body we ripped off here, we kept having it collect up on the wheel here. Um, so a little bit of trimming and stuff like that you'd wanna do and uh, not beat it up like I did. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's wicked good. We only ran on 2S and it's plenty fast on 2S. Beautiful, beautiful car. Um, and again, like ours is a little, a little tore up here, but um, we're gonna have fun with it. And uh, you know, I don't know if I tore it up. I didn't look at it after the, the cement runs to see if I'd, whoops. I hadn't, run, I hadn't looked at it after we ran it on the cement to know if we tore it up doing the stuff on the uh, curbs or if that happened here. Maybe we'll see in some of the slow motion footage about when that happened. But um, yeah, awesome car. And uh, we'll be doing more with it here soon. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, I was hoping to do like some off-road rally things with it. And it's not for that uh, because, well, not, not in this type of terrain. Maybe mountain bike trails where it's a little more packed. So that'll have to be the next thing that we try. Alrighty guys, so we got a lot of noise around here, people down at the beach, people on boats, people yelling, uh, but we'll wrap up here by saying it didn't do what I was hoping it would do for me today for off-roading uh, rally-wise, and so we'll have to look at whether or not mountain bike trails or something a little harder packed would uh, offer better terrain for this. We're still just getting it out and testing it and uh, doing our first runs with it. Cement handled awesome, except it did, go, it collected this back end in the, the cement uh, the only other time it happened is when we jumped it, it happened as well. But, um, and that was even after we trimmed it, but none of the run stuff had to do that. Um, again, I did tear up the body, but we were being pretty abusive and, uh, some of the weeds and stuff, I think caught in there as we were going, there's, uh, is what my guess is and tore that up. I think it's gorgeous. I think they nailed it with the look. I think performance wise, it's got the speed. It's got pretty good maneuverability, especially on the, uh, somebody's opening it up out there, having fun on their boat. Uh, but it's, it's yeah, it definitely feels really good on cement. Already wore off our yellow um, lettering on the back tire there. But uh, we, we abused it a little bit more than I think was uh, it's intended for. And so we'll uh, keep getting out there and finding out ways that we would use it. I'm not much of an on-road guy, so I'd like to find and, and see if there's a way I can do a little bit of more off-road rally with it and um, go from there. Anyway. Talk to you guys later. Have fun RCing. Catch you next time.